Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and here let's check out the top new games made with Unity for March 2021. My goal with these videos is to highlight what can be done with the engine so you know the only limit is really just your own imagination. All of these games are uniquely impressive and showcase the power of the engine in tons of different scenarios so the list is in no particular order, except for the number one game that is my personal pick of the month. There's also links in the description for each game, those are affiliate links so if you use them it's the same price as you and I'll also be supporting the channel. Alright, so let's go, starting off at number 10. Here is Team Fight Manager. It's a simulation game where you are the coach of an esports team, it's an interesting concept. You manage the team, you must manage the players and set them up for matches. Make the best choices with pick and ban by evaluating the champions and players. It's a strategy game in that a smart strategy can make up for a lack of skills. Watch as the battle unfolds and hope that your players are good enough to win. Train your players, grow your team, improve their equipment and lead your team to become the best and win the world championship. It's a very interesting concept and based on the number of very positive reviews it seems very well executed. They also have an interesting model where they are selling DLCs that don't have any in-game content but instead are meant to work kind of like Patreon where you can support the developers. So it's an interesting approach, essentially to go with a very small price for the base game and pretty much just hope that some people are generous enough to want to support the team. It's an interesting model, so I wonder if this strategy won't be successful. Next up, here's one that caught my eye as soon as I saw it, Circuit Superstars. I really can't quite tell why I love the look of this one so much, but I think it just looks great. The colors feel very inviting with the whole game having this nice cartoony look. It's a top-down racing game on seven unique racing circuits. The main focus is on making the driving feel great. It's been in development for five years and the handling model is their pride and joy. Race with tons of unique vehicles across various motorsports including rallycross, super trucks, GT racing and more. Prepare your pit strategy, keep track of tire degradation, fuel consumption and engine wear. Also features online multiplayer with up to 11 players all competing for the top spot. Customize your driver with cars, liveries, helmets, and victory celebrations. This is a racing game built by racing fans for racing fans. By the way, if you find the video helpful, please hit the like button. It's a tiny thing, but it really does help. Thanks. Then here's a game that finally had its full release after four years in early access, Airport CEO. It's an airport management game and a very deep one at that. You build the airport's infrastructure with everything from runways and taxis, gates and aprons. You construct terminals with check-in, security, restaurants and shops, manage the business side of the airport by hiring employees and executives, making deals with airline companies and making sure that ends meet by keeping an eye on budget and resources. The passengers also have their unique personality, so it's up to you to make their experience great. Always ensure that everything runs smoothly so your passengers catch their flights on time. It has over 4,000 positive reviews and most of them have hundreds of hours played, so this is the kind of game that you can really get lost in. One of my favorite games growing up was Airline Tycoon, so I definitely need to check this one out. Next up, here is a very good looking unique puzzle game, Maquette. It takes you into a world where every building, plant and object are simultaneously tiny and staggeringly huge. Objects essentially change their size depending on where you are. So you can grab something huge, push it far away and make it tiny. This makes for some really interesting puzzles. Visually it looks great with a castle-like fantasy world. And it promises a nice touching love story, so if you're into that, check this one out. For some VR, here is Warplanes World War I Fighters. Become a pilot during the Great War, experience aerial combat like never before in this captivating VR experience. It features tons of options, so if you want, you can go for pure simulation, or if you just want to have some fun, you can go with a more arcadey flight mode. Two campaigns with hundreds of missions set in diverse locations, seasons and time of day. Fly with 18 unique planes, everything from light scout planes to some giant bombers. I must say that I still haven't tried any of these VR games with tons of automatic movement, but there's more and more of them coming out every month, so I'm guessing the issues with movement and acceleration have been solved. Definitely need to try it. Up next, here is Scrapnot. It's a steampunk themed base building survival game. Explore the open world, take care of your oxygen, manage your farms and build your home. You venture out into the world to explore and gather some resources, bring them back into your base and just start building. Place down some walls, floors, doors, set up a farming plot and start growing some food. You need some power, so place down some solar panels and some wind generators. Connect all of the buildings to keep everything running smoothly. And of course, craft and upgrade your equipment to help you survive against enemies. But if they're too strong, then running away might just be the better option. I think this is the first base building game that I've seen with a steampunk theme, so that's certainly unique. 
It just came out in early access but already has quite a bunch of very positive reviews. If you're into roguelikes, here is Dandy Ace. It's an over-the-top action game that follows a fabulous magician seeking to combine and use his magical cards, fighting and looting his way to defeat the green-eyed illusionist and free himself from a cursed mirror. It certainly has a very unique style. Create your own builds and choose your own gameplay style by combining cards with more than a thousand possibilities. Features challenging but fair combat. You try, die and try again with some roguelike permanent upgrades that make your character stronger as you progress through the palace. Battle your way through bizarre creatures and outrageous bosses while building up your own arsenal of magic. The palace is constantly changing, it's up to you to survive whatever the game throws at you as you continue on your quest to defeat the final boss and escape the cursed mirror. If you're into story-heavy games, here is the life and suffering of Sir Branty. It's a narrative-driven hardcore RPG set in a gritty world ruled by unrelenting gods. Every choice has a price and a consequence. So will you become an inquisitor, a judge, or conspire against the world order? Fight for your life and find your own path. It's already got over a thousand very positive reviews, so if you're into narrative games, then it seems like this is a good one. Then if you just want to chill out, here is Dorf Romantic. I have no idea what the name means, but it's a relaxing building strategy puzzle game. It's one of those games with a simple concept executed perfectly with tons of polish. You get tiles and place them on a hex grid. Different tiles have different things, so some have houses, others have a windmill, some have quests and so on. You continue expanding the world as the seasons change. It certainly looks very unique, and interestingly, in the store page they make an effort to point out what features the game does not have. So it does not have any forex strategy, trading, any resource management, there's no combat or violence or any multiplayer. It is very intentionally a calmly relaxing city builder. Very interesting concept, so I might pick it up just to see if it really is that relaxing. Then at number one for my personal pick of the month, here is Endzone A World Apart. It just had its full release coming out of early access after one year of constant updates. It's a very interesting city builder where you essentially rebuild after the nuclear apocalypse. So that means you have to deal with radiation, drought, sandstorms, and so on. You need to build up your colony by giving your people homes to live in, set up some supply chains to gather food and water, and of course, make sure nothing is contaminated. The game features an endless survival mode, but also some really unique, very interesting scenarios. For example, in one of them, your goal is to find all the seeds in the world. Another one, you start with a completely broken settlement and need to rebuild it, and so on. If you're into city builders, this is a very good one. I've definitely enjoyed my time with it. And I also made my very first How It's Made video, where I remake a specific system or mechanic from a game. In that one, I remade the Soil Moisture Radiation System. It's a really cool system, and despite looking very complex, it's actually quite simple. So you could definitely add it to your own games with relative ease. That video is a new format I'm trying out, so if you haven't seen it yet, go give it a watch and let me know what you think of the format. Okay, so that's 10 awesome new games made with Unity and launched in March 2021. If you want to be a successful indie game developer, then you definitely need to keep an eye on the current state of your competition. I make these videos once a month so I can keep up to date with what's coming out, and you should too. Check out the full playlist to see some more awesome Unity games. Do you have any other hidden gems you found this month? Let me know in the comments. Do you prefer learning through a more guided path rather than separate tutorials? Then check out my complete step-by-step -step courses starting from scratch until the final polished games. If you're into programming, then get the awesome Builder Defender course, learn how I make my own games using code, build an awesome game that involves mechanics from city builders, tower defense, and survival games. Or if you're into visual scripting, then to get the VS course, which features not one, but three complete games. A simple platformer, an action RPG, and an awesome FPS. In the visual scripting course, all of this is built without a single line of code. All games in both courses start completely from scratch and go step by step until the final polished games. All of the lectures have their project files available at every step of the way, and I'm always active answering questions every single day in the Q&A section. So if you're looking for a more guided path, then check out the courses at unitycodemonkey.com slash courses. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.